What's up guys, a big welcome to all to our channel, we are team crushing the meta, as you can see we are back with another match, and this time it's the top 4 from the Bushiro Championship Series in the Netherlands in Eindhoven. In this standard we have on my right Lars from Germany, he's playing his Dimensional Police against Frank from the Netherlands, from Gamers of the West, he's playing Kagiro. So, we see that uh, Lars had to ride into his Commander Laurel. Um, and draws a card of course and then right here he guards for no pass draws into a card because against Kagero you don't want to take too much damage early on because waterfall could finish you off rides into the right dragon and attack into him of course no call any rare guard because you don't want their berserk dragon to take out your rare guard um, we have seen the berserk dragon in the uh, drive check so we know he's going counter blast soul blast draws a card but no retirement so it's it's a good plus one, but not a plus two in this situation, or not a minus one for your opponent. Uh, you're playing force against force, so attacking 10 to the vanguard, and now he could just give up 5k or 15k for no pass, but I guess that he has no crits or heal in hand, so we have to take this damage as well. Uh, Frank does no crit or no trigger, so it's okay. Rise into the Yusha, which is perfect. It is the best right target that you want to go into, uh, especially as your first vanguard. Of course, use Daimonier skill to uh, let your opponent guard with two cards, which would make it pretty hard because he needs a PG and two cards. Um, and this is already pretty huge. Uh, and he has an extra crit. So, drops a PG right here and two great ones. That's a lot of shield. Uh, going to waste there, that's the good thing about Daimarineer and we will see that Frank needs that much power or shield later on uh, right into Overlord and give him the force marker of course you could use Overlord skill right here to give him extra 10k but at the same time it's also smart strategy to not do that so that your opponent would at least uh, give up two cards from his hand to guard this attack um, yeah, let's see what Lars would do right here. He is thinking about just dropping some, some shield. So this is 33 and of course this Pill Moon card guards for 15k shield. Uh, got the draw trigger but not a BG. And this is already 31 which is incredible because the air must also got, get power of course. Um, so take this one as well. Stands and draw. Of course, if you're playing Dimension Police, you don't have to rewrite. You only need to have Great Dayusha in your drive check or in your hand, and you're good. Uh, Die Brave skill to give more power to the Fingard. He does not use Die Dragon, so he's keeping some soul for later on. Maybe. I don't know. Um, he's attacking the Fingard with three crits. I. This is pretty insane. So. Frank right here has to give up a lot of shield in his hand to be able to make this a 2 to pass. And <laughs> it's just incredible. He could have intercepted, um, and with that keep one card in hand, but he does not intercept. He just give up his whole hand to do a 2 to pass. Um, gets great Dayusha skill, rewrites, give the force marker to the finger. You need to give it to the finger because uh, if. He, you don't have your commander, you're losing a lot because you cannot superior ride if you are not above the 43 or 34. Um, so takes all the damage. Oh, he took uh, Frank took one damage too much, so we have to reshuffle the deck or give it to JJ, and JJ has to shuffle it himself. Um, of course, die brave skill goes to the soul, and Lars could draw draws an extra card. Okay, from this, Frank is a very bad uh, because he is in a very bad situation because he, get, he had to give up seven cards from his hand to uh, guard the uh, Dayusha attack. And now he draws into the Aramos, which is a, an okay draw. Uh, he does not activate the skill of Overlord yet again, and maybe a bit nervous. I don't know. Forgot about the skill. That could be the case, but you're just losing extra 10k so he 
Lars is doing it too fast. He got the first ones to trigger. If he gives everything to the finger, this attack would go through and Overlord could restand. <gasps> he did not get the two to pass. Ooh, this is pretty bad. Alright, so this attack goes to the finger. It take the damage, activate the great two skill, goes to the soul, counter blast one, and then he could draw two cards from the skill of the air monsters. So hopefully he gets the draw trigger or something. Does not get anything, got two great twos, which is not enough shield. I this is also right here from Frog Frog, in my opinion, made two mistakes. The first one, um, not using Overlord skill, the second one, he could have taken out the Command Laurel because now the Command Laurel could give the Vanguard just an extra crit. I, but yeah, though the moment that the moment that he had to discard seven cards to guard one attack was just too much, and it's not up to him. It's just if you're playing as the Mesh Police, you need to have PGs in your hand. If you don't have enough PGs, then it's game over. So a crit in his drive check, no heal, he could superior ride, have three more attacks, it's game over. He could do nothing. Justice. This is justice. Right, well played by both players. Um it's really incredible that actually both these players did pretty well in this Wiss. But at the same time, I thought it was incredible that uh we have seen the Mesh Police go to the top and win it all. The Mesh Police was the uh, champion. Of uh, this Bushra Championship series in the Netherlands for standard. Um, next match that you will see on our channel is the top three match, so third and fourth, who will be able to go towards. Because I could not record the finals because the finals already rec or always get recorded by Bushra. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this fast game. To see the British police played at such a high level is incredible, and also we are very proud of our Frank to be able to get the top 8 and then the top 4, which was incredible. Thanks for watching guys, until next time. <laughs>